Oh my god. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, so I've come back home as you might have noticed in the other video Surroundings are a bit different and I haven't got this speckled work surface. So a little recap Change the bearings so it's now got the actual proper Now got the actual proper bearings in there. I've still got a sort I've sorted those four tires out. They're glued. Uh, sorry. They're taped These still need sorting out and I've put the wow you can't see I've put the black revolutions on it looking nice and just for the test purposes I've got the big battery this is the 7.2 that's the 9.6 as you can see there's an extra set of AA's in it very simple battery and I've also replaced the um, M-Tronic, here we go, it's the M, oh sorry, it's M-Sonic RV Echo 27, so I don't know if the Echo 20, uh, the 27 stands for 27 amp, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what amperage that is, but it's only a two cell, maximum two cell ESC, so I'm not too sure the specifications of that one, but this one is up to a three cell lipo uh, it can also take nickel metal hydrate as well you've got the see if i can see them there you go you've got these little pins where's my pointy stick thing there you go you've got these little pins and you just change these pins over and at the moment i have it set up for forward brake reverse and I've got it set up for nickel, nickel metal hydrate. So you take both batteries. Uh, so yeah, I'm just setting it up just to have a quick go of what it's like on the ultimate settings. So I've got the the big boy gears, the 2246, which is a ratio of 2.09. I've got the um, 60 amp ESC because I, I don't know what the M Sonic is, but it's not 30, it's not 60 amp. I know that for a fact. And I've obviously got the big boy battery in there, the 9.6. So, let's give it a go and see if this is a, makes a major difference. It should make a major difference. FS3. And I'll just turn this on. Oh, yeah, it's working. Yeah, baby. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> the tyres come off. Oh no, and it's been taped as well. Look, that's the tape. It's locked up the rear axle. Oh crap, right. <laughs> I've got to reapply the tape quick. Oh, I'll back in a sec. Yeah, for those of you who doubt it, look, you can see the tape's crinkled as well. So the tyres also rotated on the wheel as well as come off and there's the little ball patch i was on about that i always leave so you can clearly see it's been taped and it's also twisted the tape as well that's insane so much so much power the tires have come off so i'm probably gonna have to super glue the tires because if the tape's not holding it super glue is the only other option well, I'm glad I didn't sort out these white ones, so now they're going to get super glued and the white ones are going to be the top speed run tyres. I didn't want that to happen that way. But, well, the tape's obviously not good enough. Well, obviously, <laughs> the tape's plenty good enough for 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour, but this bad boy's set up to do 84.9 miles an hour in this state now. And that's what happens. It twists the cellar tape. I'm 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 literally lost for words. I don't know what to say. But anyway, I'm going to put the tire back on and I'll leave it longer. I'll probably 
redo it tomorrow morning and see if the tape's set tomorrow morning because uh, to be fair I've only just applied these tyres about half hour ago but then if you give it a couple of hours it doesn't want to come off you know what I mean so I'll give it I'll reapply it properly and give it some more time see what happens but I can't believe that it's actually twisted the sellotape as well so not only has the tyre come off that way it's rotated around the wheel as well that's insane because you can see the ball patch look that's mad that is that is crazy <laughs> oh my god well I think the monster's got too much energy oh mad <laughs>